Good morning on this, oh look at me, like Paddington Bear, all puffed up there, on this glorious sunny and frosty morning in Yarpole. I'm just about to go up to the bees to give them some fondant icing. I'm doing it early this year um, only because the warm weather seemed to go on for so long so they probably used up more of their stores than they would have done in the late autumn and it's now turned very cold so although I've hefted them and um, they all seem okay one's particularly heavy I'm still going to put the fondant icing on top to be better safe than sorry so what I do is uh, I take a crown board like this with a hole in I will cut a hole in this um, plastic bag pop it over there and then the bees have got access to extra food they won't take it if they don't need it but it's there if they do so um, here we go uh, right trusty pen knife okay. got that one That's done. Okay. And then when I get up there, I'll just put it there. That's over there. Ooh. And you can see that the bees can access the fondant through there. Um, I put my bee suit on because although I'm not actually exposing the co colony by taking the crown board off, I will be taking off this little bee scape that will be on the ones up there from here. That little hole, the bees um, will come up um, to see what's going on and they're not going to be very happy um, because it is cold. <laughs> Ready. So like I told you, I'm just going to remove the bee scape from here. Oh yeah, they're in there. I see them. Oh, I can see one. Let's do this as quick as I can. There we go, girls. Early Christmas present. This is called an eek. Spacer. Put another crowd board on top of that. Right. Just pop the spacer off. Take them off. And let's wipe. Let's just put a sticky fondant. Let's wipe that away. Easy doing these things with freezing fingers, I think that's what he said. Move back on. This heavy slab. Let's get my anti 
Lucky Badger who was strapping down in his big heavy slab. They haven't come up, but I can hear a lovely buzzing noise inside there. Well, that's it. Job's good un. Um, done very quickly, very gently. Um, no bees came out. I didn't need my smoker. A few bees have come out from this hive. And if I was going to lay a bet on which hive might come out to see what I'm doing, it would be this one because they're very prolific, that hive. Um, but yes, I mean, oh, there's one. All you, all you hear is, it's rather sweet. Remember in Toy Story, in the pick and mix thing, when all the little green monsters go, Ooh. that's what it always reminds me. That's what the bees remind me of. When they hear you're there, we make a slight jogging movement. They go, Ooh. <laughs> anyway tuck down again for the um until uh the new year when i'll come up and make sure they're okay again in sort of probably mid-january um if it snows of course if you're a new beekeeper and you're watching this if it snows do come up and check the entrances to your hive they can still get in and out if they need to and air circulation but that's it for me for this year Thank you everybody who's been watching, um, following my blog and thank you for all your comments and your enthusiasm and your encouragement. I want to wish everybody um, a happy, happy Christmas and a very prosperous and healthy 2023 and I will see you next year. Bye! <laughs>